Hello and welcome to the next instalment of our On Device Research Academy videos. Today I'm joined by Nick Hayden, Programmatic Investment Manager at one of our FMCG clients. So to kick things off Nick, can you give us your top tips for achieving the most effective advertising within the FMCG sector? So yeah, I think it's really important if you know what you're doing, if you know your media, if you know your um you know, you know your brand inside and out. So I think it's all about uh, knowing what's going to fit as well as, as perfectly for that brand. So we see so many different brands trying to um, go into a new touch point, a new type of media um, within FMCG and then also within other um, sectors. And these uh, touch points aren't as well uh, sort of understood as of yet because they're all very new. The data isn't necessarily there. And I think one thing that we definitely see from FMCG, the nature of that product, everything needs to be uh, so sort of um, data led, everything needs to be understanding where you can get the um, sort of advancements across the market and I think fundamentally at this moment uh, we're still in a case of the sort of traditional types of media um, are the ones that have that um, ability to understand where you can get those sort of en those benefits where how we can also uh, tailor our media campaigns to those touch points and then get the best results for our brands and I think in a moment until uh, these sort of new touch points, these new partners, anything that's sort of a new developing medium develops that tech, develops that skill and ability to be able to do that. We're still in a place, in a place of um, the older uh, sort of traditional media buyers, the older traditional media partners that we're sort of familiar with and the ones who have been around for a while and are sort of well set up are probably the ones who are going to be uh, best um, suited to provide strong and um, successful campaigns. Okay, so what are the current mediums that you would rate for achieving the, the most success when it comes to FMCG advertising? So I think one of the key priorities whenever we're running a campaign is always going to be about trying to reach as many people and our audience as possible. And whenever we're looking at that, we're always looking at sort of more traditional uh, media touch points. So things like your AV, things like out of home, uh, digital, uh, particularly with likes of like a YouTube, for instance, you know, Places where we know there are large audiences there and we're able to really reach that audience effectively. And I think, especially like I was saying, for SMCG brands, where it's all around sort of fast paced um, selling those products and being able to have a, a quick and easy message that's um, easily understandable by multiple people you know, from um, different places in the UK and different audiences as well. Be able to have that ability to reach them really quickly through the likes of a 30 second TV ad or through the likes of an out home billboard, you know, a, um, a non skippable video online is a really beneficial way of doing it. So, what benefits do you see being driven through an increase in omni channel campaigns? So, I think there's a really um, good way of sort of um, having almost a custom curated campaign to that um, omni channel to sort of set up. So, obviously. You could just usually have a sort of run asset run across TV and it would just be able to reach everyone on TV. But having on the channel, first you'd be reaching lots of different people, you'd be able to reach a lot more of your audience. I think you're also allowed to do something a little bit more custom, a bit more creative. You can do something that cut through basically all the other ads in the market as well, especially if you're sort of looking at almost a digital out home perspective where you've got um, sort of a digital uh, display asset, or sorry, an out home asset that allows you then to, uh, I don't know, um, scan a QR code, but will then sort of give you a link to social or digital aspects, which then can mean you can get retargeting off the back of interacting through that. So there's definitely different ways of um, interacting, I think, with these different omnichannel um, campaign setups. And I think it's a really useful way of, like I say, being able to add a little bit extra to your campaign, being able to sort of combine across different touch points and different um, targeting strategies, and then also being able to really reach as many people as possible. If you'd like to see more videos like these within series two of our On Device Research Academy, then please head over to our website at ondeviceresearch.com.